Okay, second take. Good evening, everybody. This is the remodulator. I am live from the beta server, Dunar soon to be exact. Uh, I am also going to talk to you about the newest age, which is the space age Jupiter moon. So here's a bit of a disclaimer, as I am in Bronze Age, I cannot really experience in fullness Space Age Jupiter Moon from the beta server, since I am in Bronze Age. And also it is not yet on in the regular server yet. So. Hang on, so hang on before we start. Let's get this out of the way. Hmm. What? Okay, so that was okay. I thought something went wrong. All right. So, what is Space Age Jupiter Moon? Space Age Jupiter Moon is it's basically the 21st age in the Forge of Empires universe. So, we're basically experiencing or going to experience a potential future colony in Jupiter. Now, um, It all starts off with, of course, the first research, first research, which is the gene synthesizer. So the gene synthesizer is going to require you 110 million supplies. Ouch! Although if you are already a veteran player of the game you are expected to have this amount of supplies times more then if you also need venus carbon for those who are new to the game venus carbon is something you get either from uh, from you know the from your space What's, what's that was the great building was the great building yeah spice carrier because spice carrier I just from Arctic higher up from Arctic era up it'll it will give you a special goods and Venus carbon is a special good you can get it from the spice carrier or you can also get Venus carbon from how do I say this exploration sites from the space age venus map so what you get is the rockweed y i do not know if this is a colony road or if it's uh in the earth road and you will also get an aquapod so your aquapod is going to be available in uh, your space size Jupiter moon colony all right so other than that what then splash and Venus carbon what else do you need uh, you will also need herbal snacks you're gonna need 950 ouch although if you have been space age Venus for a while you are expected to get for more than 950 herbal snacks and you will also require microgreen supplements which will require you 900 tons 900 pieces rather so unlocking this researching this see which will require 600 points will unlock you access in your Jupiter Moon colony next you will require Venus well, you will uh, there are two researchers here Venus good synthesizers 
So the first one, the topmost part will require your Venus carbon. I've already mentioned where to get it. Mass ore. You can get mass ore from uh, your spice carrier. If you're particularly if you're in Space Age Mars. Or you can also get mass ore from exploration sites in the Mars uh, map. Or you can also get mass ore from the synthesizers. As you know, uh, synthesizers are buildings that pro produce the Space Age goods. No. However, it will require you metals. Other than that, you will need glowing seaweed, Spice H Venus good, and soy proteins, also a Spice H Venus good. Next is, I mean, the reward for this is you can get a soy protein synthesizer, microgreen supplement synthesizer, and herbal snack synthesizer. Where do you get where do you get the goods deposit? Of course, from the spy side Venus map. Part two, it's this Venus good synthesizer number two. You it will require you 110 million coins. Next is asteroid Oz. You can get asteroid Oz from spice carriers if you are in spice age asteroid belt, and you can also get it from. Asteroid R synthesizers from the Spice Age Venus, as well as uh, exploration sites in your Asteroid R map. Also, require your mass ore, I've already mentioned where, and also sugar crystals, which is a Spice Age Venus good. What did you, you get? Lo and behold, it's Venus Carbon Synthesizer, which means that you can get uh, v you can get Venus Carbon from uh, your Earth city through this. However, you should, what I'm told, you could get you need metals, all right. Now you will also need glow, glowing seaweed synthesizer as well as sugar crystal synthesizer. Okay, next. Luciferin oxidi oxidation. What will you need? One, it will need to research this. Not only will you need 570 porch points, ouch. You will also need 115 million coins, 115 million supplies, as well as orichalcum. And Promethium. For, the, for those who are new to the game, or Chalcum is the special good that you need that you get from the oceanic future. To get it, you need to send your oceanic terminal out on a trip to get it over Chalcum. Or you can also get it from spice from the spice carrier if you're in the spice on if you're in oceanic future. Promethium, it's the it's the Arctic future special good. You can it's not tried and like orichalcum, it is not tradable, but you need to get it by sending your your uh, Arctic harbor out on a trip to get a Promethium. So what we get is this one is the oxygen concentrator. It's uh, love support. Uh, building providing building now just a bit of a uh, just a bit of a uh, preview here uh, law support is you, g you build them in your spice age colony and this uh, if I remember right law support not only helps sustain your co your colony it is the equivalent of happiness so if you have it's if you it's been said that if you have more happiness no if you have more love support you can 
um, it's like a boost how that bo how much of a boost is it I do not know but moving on next is it you will also get three colony expansions three colony expansions so you it means three new expansions in your Jupiter moon colony All right so next is I think these are the good research buildings. Floor force, you will need 400 Venus carbon, 400 asteroid Rs, 1050 herbal snacks, and 1000 glowing seaweed. Next is enzymic heterosis. No, let's get back. What do you get once you research floor force? Once you research floor force, you can get red algae farm and sponge farm. Now, uh, but I was wondering what this special what the special good is in Spice Eyes Jupiter Moon. It is the unknown DNA. Um, as much as I have, n I'm still in Bronze Age in the beta server and have n do not know what it's like to get these type of goods. Um, I do believe though that you will you can get unknown DNA from. Uh, from exploration sites in the Jupiter Moon map. So, um, this is going to occupy some space, so plan accordingly. Next is enzymic heterosis. Well, what would you get? Well, what do you need? To research this first is the asteroid Rs, next is the herbal snacks, soy proteins, and sugar crystals 400, 900, 900, and 950 respectively. So, what do you get? Most one is the oceanarium, produces wild creatures, and boosted by translucent Rs, of course, and on DNA. So, this is this here is you need this, you need to build this in your Jupiter moon colony and you cannot unlock it in earth unless you get to the next age and research its synthesizers right next is the avatar is an avatar i do not know what avatars unlock and next is the two colony expansions next is the genomic data bank so first what will you, what will you need one is the venus carbon 150 450 Venus carbon, 1000 microgreen supplements, 950 soy protein, and 950 glowing seaweed. So, so far, um, other than special goods, other than from, you know, from, from Venus down to Arctic Future, you will also need goods from Spice Ice Venus. If you're getting, if you're getting, are you getting the, uh, pattern here all right so what do you get one is advanced DNA data course unknown DNA boosted by DNA cluster topological records of course unknown DNA boosted by seamount lock the other goods buildings here you will need to build them in your colony and you cannot unlock it on earth unless you build you've unlocked the synthesizer from the next edge by Sage Tartan okay so Next, once you research floor force, you will unlock access to microscopic pupilla, 500 carbon, 650 red algae, 650 trans porphyrus, porphyrus, sorry, and it has some microgreen supplements. What do you get? You get the first military building, Aquadron Systems, which produces your division drones. It is the fast. Yeah. Fast. Yeah, I think it's mm, no more like the lot unit. It's the lot unit. Next is the avatar. So next research here is the interface beams. You will require orichalcum, bark 
450 over chalkum, 550 bio creatures, 550 advanced DNI data, and 150 sugar crystals. What do you get? It's it's a colony house called Aqua Cabin. And you will also require three colony you will also get three colony expansions. What you need to research this is the enzymic heterosis and genomic data bank. Next crystal cystic galvanizer you will only require you to research genomic data bank now what you need is the asteroid R's promethium 450 asteroid R's 450 promethium 650 enhanced peripherals and 600 topological re records what will you get you will get an avatar and three colony expansions Next, cavitation module. You get, to get to your second uh, military building called cavitation assembler, and um, that also produce the cavitation tank. This is the artillery unit in Spice Eyes Jupiter Moon. So. Um, so far, you get these two. These two buildings uh, require two-line street roads, and uh, can only allow you to be built on Earth. So, what do you need? Cavitation module. You'll get Venus carbon, 550. Topological records, 700. Advanced DNA data, 650. And red algae, 650. Next is the G. J. Mendel Award. I do not know who this is, but uh, it's not what we're going to talk about today. You'll need 650 Venus carbon, 700 advanced DNA data, 800 topological records, and 650 bio creatures. So, this is the first production building of the Spice Age Jupiter Moon, which is the Aerospace Pharmacy. So, um, it Costs it's into you it will occupy four four by four space which means that uh, and it will which means it's I think it's the so, same size as the floating garden in Space Age Venus. I don't know, please confirm that for me. So produces is two thousand four hundred fifty in four minutes. Of course boosted by your supply boosts in higher that you get from goods buildings, so from goods buildings, event buildings, and supply potion, the orange potions. So, also of course your two line street. All right. Next, you get an avatar. This is going to be a, oh, okay. Next here is going you're going to get you need you're going to talk about plasmid suits. Plasmid suits are, but you to research it. You need to research the cavitation model. So what do you need? 120 million supplies, 700 Venus carbon, 900 enhanced peripherals, and a thousand topological records. What do you get? A life support building called the organic oxidizer. Next is the splicing pod. You will need a cavitation module and a GJ Mendel award. So what do you get? What do you need to do to get it? To get it, you'll need uh, unknown DNA, 250, asteroid horse, 650, mass ore, 350, and red algae, 800. What would you get? A Juno dwelling. This is an Earth. This is an Earth residential building. So. It Gives you 8,240 population and produces 22,600 ID in four hours. And you get floating fjord. It's the uh, decoration, the first decoration of this age, as well as an avatar. Next is the, I think you get the first, I think you get another road. Okay, so 
spectral shears to research it you'll need a Chichai Mendel award you will require you 450 anointing and I 850 Venus carbon 1050 of Adelka and 900 power creatures so what do you get an expansion and this time it is an earth expansion and you will also get a Juno cobble walk I think it's uh, one by one road somewhere the same size as a rockweed rockweed way yeah next deep frequency module you this is going to give you a military building but what do you need 590 and I 1350 topological records 950 enhanced peripherals and 1150 advanced DNA data so what do you get you'll get the fast unit the abyssal glider um, I do not have the stats yet of all the military units in this age uh, I'm just gonna give you a sneak preview all right so the abyssal glider is the fast unit in space size Jupiter moon next chimerism now you get seven you need 700 asteroid eyes 600 order chalcum 500 promethium and 1450 advanced dna data so what do you get three colon expansions and a residential building it costs for 506 that call that gives you 561 population excuse me next is uh, can of bacterial fuel to, to get to to get it you need to research the frequency module you will need 500 or a chalcum 1550 red algae 1800 topological records and then 1550 enhanced peripherals you will get the last support and three column expansions now this one here ectophyta biomes you will need chimerism you will need and also you need 600 unknown dna 950 venus carbon 1300 bio creatures and 1700 and has peripherals you will get an aquatic museum which is the uh, cultural building of spice ship at the moon next the hopper uh, detector 3000 hmm. looks like looks like to get out of it to cost here the avatar portraits here okay um what do you need you'll need to research soy cyanobacterial fuel it'll also give you glacial hawker which is the heavy unit in space size Jupiter moon you will also need you will also require 700 and 90 and I 1050 Venus carbon 1200 bar creatures and advanced DNA data you also give you an avatar as well next is the photonic input you need also sign a bacterial fuel Ooh. what do you need 850 Unknown data, 600 Promethium, 1000, 2150 topological records, and 1800 red algae. You'll get a colony expansion as well as the avatar. Next is the plasma inducer. You need 125 million coins, 125 million supplies, 850 asteroid eyes, and mass. Oh, 550 asteroid ore by then you should have researched ecto part of biomes when by then so what we get two, two colony expansions and an aquarius habitat so
Next here we get the Rhine shoot. Next here Cami Luminescence Cami Luminescence Ammunition. You you will get the Rhine unit, the Harpoon the Grenade. So you get you need a hunt to re to research this you need to avoid the research hard pressure detector details and well also you need to give 130 million coins and 150 1150 on GNI, and 1750 bio creatures and 2050 enhanced peripherals seems like all the military units here all required to building roads no to you to about your roads sorry Okay, next you will need you will have to research Lum Lumi ports 1450 and 9 DNA, 2500 topological records, 2000 bio creatures and 2150 enhanced DNA data. The uh, come here output here is the hydrographic hub which will give you 844 life support in your colony. You will need to build this in the colony. Right. Next is bioluminescent radiation. I think this time you can get a two by two road. Ah. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so bioluminescent radiation you'll need a thousand eight hundred unknown DNA. 1150 Venus carbon, 2100 real algae, 2450 advanced DNA data. Like I said, you get, uh, how do I say this, 2x2 two two road, which you can build an earth, as well as an avatar. Now, let's see how the other roads look like. Given it, uh, Ooh, very modern. Oh, okay. Is this thing an earth, is this thing an earth road or a colony road? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, I don't know why to figure it out. It looks like uh this one here looks like a colony road but I also will not be surprised if it's also an earth road ok so where are we ok the ionic drill you will need to res you will need chemiluminescent chemi ammunition lumi ports and bioluminescent radiation and what do you need unknown DNA 2150 Bio creatures 2350, enhanced peripherals 2450, and red algae 2300. So, what you get is uh, an expansion light guy. So, lock in the lock in the previous uh, lock in the previous space. I just the first group to get the first. Uh, I do first research in the next age, which will be Space Age Titan, will be Jupiter Moon with Synthesizer. So, yeah, that's this one's coming soon. So, other than that, what do we, what can we expect? Yeah, so. In Space Age Jupiter Moon, you will get six diamond expansions. And diamond expansions, I mean expansions that can buy using diamonds. Then you'll get access to your spaceport. The great building here is the IR core, produces goods for the good guild treasury, which, uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, is always very appre highly appreciated. 
Next is helps collect more special goods inside the mine city in advanced areas when being in the guild. I do not know what that is. Let me try and look at uh, the rankings and see how people see the stats. Right? In a bit. Next. The diamond how the diamond residential building is a titanus residence. It's 750 diamonds and of course you only two but you road. The exhibition bubble is also also does not also only requires you a one by one road at the very least. It's the it's the pre, it's the uh, diamond building. It's by size Jupiter. Red seaweed bar is the cultural building, far bar tree, and uh, of course only a two by two road, one by one road, at least. So let's have a look at. Has anyone ever built the iron core yet? Great buildings. Well. Holy cow! Do people even do people here even have a laugh? Especially it's Jupiter Moon has been released a few days, and now someone has a level that's a level one hundred I I core. Wow! Seems like only a handful of players have built this let's see what let's see what you got mm. so does, does anyone ever even have the level one building okay Pavel the second has right buildings Excuse me. So this one here, I think. What the hell? Okay. So here is some more detailed information. The first four collections in your mind city contain tiny special goods. You will collect four percent more special goods after reaching Arctic future. This only applies to the Arctic Harbor, the Oceanic Terminal, the Special Goods Synthesizers. At the next level, the first four Special Goods Productions are boosted by 6%. Oh no, no, I have a lot of questions here. So, is this saying that... Uh, is this, this a boost or... Is this a boost or is this or I don't know <laughs> is this a boost or is this a game of probability I'd love to know but if it's a boost then um, it can help a certain it can help a certain amount number of folks who are in the higher I just I think I don't know a lot of folks in the forums they're freaking out big time over this building let's see this this guy had this can is it is it possible to figure out the good the requirements per se? I don't know. Wow. So this is it. Uh this uh how do I say this this is basically 
by size Jupiter, what was by size Jupiter moon. Um, just this is a uh, uh, this is the sneak peek of by size Jupiter moon, and um, well, I wish I would have been in that in that very high of an age to experience by size Jupiter moon. Uh, at least I hope I've given you uh, a sneak peek of what to expect alright so thank you very much if you like this video do subscribe and uh, take care of yourselves alright peace out